Okay, so we are going to get started. All right. Now for this uh, small room, I don't need the your microphone. So for the next hour, okay, we're going to talk about principles and philosophy of Tai Chi as applied to mind body practices. In this case, Tai Chi Chuan, okay. Very quickly, uh, if you're not familiar with the history of Tai Chi, Tai Chi started about 400 years ago in the Chen family village. It started so Tai Chi has a history despite you know martial arts movies and novels. Written history says that Tai Chi started in the Chen family village um, about four hundred years ago in the middle of China, in the province called Henan. And that original style of Tai Chi is referred to as Chen, Chen style Tai Chi. And right now, uh, Grandmaster Chen Zhenlei is the 19th generation Grandmaster. One of two, Chen Zhenlei and his cousin Chen Xiaohuang, the two Zhangmenren, uh, lineage holder. And I'm proud to have uh, been training with uh, Grandmaster Chen for 15 years, and one of his uh, so-called in-for, you know, students. Now, only four generations ago, his great grandfather Yang Lucan went to his village and learned the Chen style Tai Chi, and he came out and simplified it greatly and in fact cut out all the yang movements and retaining all the yin movements and that is now called yang style tai chi and this gentleman that i also trained with is uh, grandmaster yang zheng Bo. and also from the yang family branched out uh, the wu the sun and the wu hao you know, branches, they all came pretty much from the Yang style. The reason I have to explain all of this is that when I said Tai Chi symbolizes, you know, from the slow comes the fast, from the fast comes the slow, from the soft comes the hard, from the hard comes the slow, within the softness there's hardness, within the hardness there's softness. We're talking about Chen style Tai Chi, okay? Because there's no fast, no hard movements here. But because quite a few of you uh, are students of mine, so for tonight, uh, I will emphasize Yang style Tai Chi because you're not familiar with it. And many of you are, even though not my student, are familiar with the Yang style. And I'm going to explain to you and teach you Yang style. How could Yang style be also you know, Tai Chi, okay, because there's no fast movements, how can it be? So, by the end of tonight, I hope you would have a good understanding of this, and also use the Yang style to enhance your health as well. If you're uh, learning Chen style, uh, then that's great, okay. If you're learning Yang style, maybe I'll help you understand that style a little bit better, because I did train with the great grandson of uh, Yang Wu Chan. Now, so the first exercise is this, okay? Okay, so you have to um, you know take up the space here and uh, let's let's do some exercise. Now, our body is all yin and yang, right? Okay, 
every muscle group, whether it's your bicep, your tricep, your leg muscles, your abs, every muscle group has slow twitch muscle fibers that are used for strength and endurance. Okay, that's the slow muscle fibers. You can look at that as yin. But every muscle group also has fast muscle fibers to allow you to move ex very fast, okay, for speed. You can look at that as yang. So our muscles are like a good blend of yin and yang. Now, if you exercise only one but not the other, okay, within 10 days, you're going to see measurable decrease in function of the one that you did not exercise. So you cannot say, okay, well, in the winter time, you know, uh, I'm going to do the slow ones, and the summer I go on and do the, do the fast ones. No, no, you have to like do both of them at the same time. So the first exercise will train you in doing ex one exercise that's good for the fast muscle fibers. And what is best for the fast muscle fibers is to exercise very fast. Very fast means explosively fast. Also, very fast is not enough. It has to be eccentric. This is called concentric. Okay? If you can <coughs> do this, not very effective. This, do this, that's effective. Okay? So, So first, side takes with double punches, okay, chin style. So just very relaxingly raise your hands up here. Now make sure you have enough space and not hit each other, okay? <laughs> or don't hit the wall either. Okay, <laughs> okay relax and then pow, okay, pow, okay, snap it up. Now breathing wise, breathing through the mouth. By breathing through the nose and blow it out through the mouth, not your nose, otherwise you make a mess. Okay, so breathe in. Relax. Okay, this is called right? from the yin comes the yang. From the yin comes the yin. Okay? Now so that's easy. But it's a whole body exercise. So the leg, you want to like like that, a stretch kick. That's eccentric, okay? So breathe in, in, okay? So now let's do the whole thing. Okay, breathe in. It's actually very good. I mean, you know, all the way up here, all the way up here, all the way down there. Fast twitch muscle fibers. Not something that you normally do, okay? If you run, you actually don't use these muscles. But here, you're using these side muscles. And the side muscles are very important for fall prevention. See, if I go on and I turn. Oh, I almost fell. Oh, I did because I have strong stabilizer muscles here. From doing this, if you jog, run, climb mountains, you never use these. You use these, okay? It won't help you. You still fall, okay? But, you know. So this builds up these side muscles, and when you kick, it builds up these quadriceps and hip flexors. So it's very good for that too. Okay. Any questions? Just okay to go in. Easy one. Okay. How many cycles do you have to do that? Well, um, I'm going to teach you like six different ones. Mm -hmm. So if you do all six, everything like 20 times, you know, that will take you a whole 20 minutes. 
So, or you can double, it becomes 40 minutes, it'll be quite a workout. But don't, don't progress too fast because that, oh, you know, because these muscles are not something you use. You know, you, you go hiking, but you don't use these muscles. So in the beginning, maybe do, you know, five or 10, 15, and build up, okay? This one, okay, my students are quite familiar, but I didn't explain it this way um, necessarily. So this is a moving meditation based on self-defense of all things, okay? So, uh, so how many of you uh, have had my course? Okay, okay, so quite a few. Okay, so I'm gonna break this down into like five different steps, okay? So first, just stand like this, okay, with feet further apart than your shoulder, and the two hands just go back. Alright, that's easy enough. What's the purpose of that? Research at Princeton showed that repetitive motion could boost your serotonin in the brain by up to 40 fold to make you feel better, improve your mood, to make you digest better, sleep better. So repetitive motion is very, very beneficial for many reasons. Secondly, they found that these repetitive motions, the benefits are additive. The more repetitive elements in an exercise, the better. So this is all just the arms. Okay, so now let's add the waist. The waist you can turn from side to side, right? So turn over here. So to the left, to the right, left, right, left, right. Okay, next, lower your body a little bit, okay, your weight distribution now is 50-50 on the two sides, you can shift more to the left, more to the right, more to the left, more to the right, how much more, like two thirds of the weight here, one third over here, move it here, 50-50, here, 30-70, back to 70-30, so you can do this, okay, so now put all of these together, and wait, okay, to the left, to the right, to the left, to the right. All right, well that's just a mild physical exercise. But Tai Chi belongs to what we call Qigong, which is San Ti He Yi integrated regulation of mind, body, and breathing. You were just regulating your body. Now let's integrate into it the breathing. In and out through the nose. Breathe in. Breathe out. In. Out. In. Out. You're doing this at six times a minute. In our laboratory, we show that this has the maximum effect in increasing your blood circulation. Any faster, you lose the effect. Regulate your mind, okay? So, it's a moving meditation. So, meditative practices are practices where you focus on a single thought. In this case, Think of yourself standing on the beach, on the sand, and you're looking out towards the ocean, and you see the, the waves, the surf coming onto the sand, going back out. The white foam coming onto the sand, going back out. So breathe in, breathe out. The surf coming onto the sand, going back out. Onto the sand, going back up. Breathe in, breathe out. So that's the whole exercise called 
Chen style Tai Chi silk reeling, like reeling in a single strand of silk gently and slowly without breaking. But where's the Tai Chi? Okay, so now let me explain to you, you know, the difference between uh, you know. Um, this is same here. In Chinese, Han Jai Yi Chu So, so Zi Yu Mei Yu. What does that mean? That means that, you know, I'm very knowledgeable. A single move from you, I can already tell whether you had a good teacher or a bad one. Yeah, that's what this way. <laughs> Whether you, 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 you got it or you didn't get it, okay? So, it's not, it's not just that. So many of my students uh, don't even have this here. So I want to give them something to make this evening worthwhile. So, first of all, the lower body is moving slowly. That's yin, right? But these muscles are supporting like, you know, 100 pounds. These muscles are actually doing a lot of work. This is a very powerful movement. It's all this weight. So within the yin, there is yang, you see? See, these muscles are hard. I explained that in class, okay? So you can think of the lower body as the waves coming onto the shore, going back up. Doesn't seem like much, but the waves are so powerful, you cannot stop the waves. I mean, the waves could generate electricity with a wave machine. They did that experiment in Newport Beach. The hands, the upper body, are nice and loose. They represent the white foam on the water. The white foam you can actually stop. You cannot stop the, the sea coming in. You can stop the white foam. So the hands are so soft that I could stop your hand with my little finger. But I cannot stop your legs. These are powerful. So you can say, you know, this is yang and this is yin. Okay? So soft, breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. In and out. And I could stop your hands with my little finger. You should be that relaxed. Okay? Now, but in class I never explained to you what I'm going to explain today. Because I didn't have a good assistant. I have a good assistant today. Uh, Dr. Lin, please. He's my son, so <laughs> I'm free to beat him up. Normally in class, you know, I use colors, but he's injured already. <laughs> so, all right. So the hands, it's not all yin. Okay? The hands are not just waving. It's a defensive move. So this is a pain limb, okay? So he's a punch me. Boom. Punch, okay? Punch. So I am like doing this. What am I doing? I'm grabbing his wrist, controlling his elbow, and pulling this one. Okay? But where's the yin and the yang? This hand is blocking his wrist and grabbing his wrist. If I'm a karate guy doing simple minded defense, okay, punch. Bomb, okay, hard, it's gonna bounce off, boom, okay, no good, okay. My hands are soft yet powerful. I latch onto him, so I start out soft, bam, okay, because if I'm hard, boom, it's gonna bounce off, okay, so I have to, like, you know, like that. So this is within the softness, that's hardness. But this hand, this hand is grabbing, facing out. This hand is controlling his elbow, facing up, okay? Because if I'm grabbing this way, 
he knows enough kung fu that he's gonna put this into an elbow. Boom. Okay. Boom. And then swing that one. Boom. Okay. That cannot happen, right? So I grab this and I push him up this way. Okay. So that, try to throw that punch. Punch. Right. Okay. Right. So this is yin, but with a yang. This seems like a yin, but a yang. Here is the yin and a powerful yang moving, moving, and these are so okay. So this movement is very much tai chi. It's not just a it's just a you know a mild physical exercise. Okay. So I can just hand do this. Yeah. Right. So let's just do an exercise. Okay. So moving here. Grab the wrist and the elbow and ho. Oh. So and hard. So and hard. So within the yin, there's yin. And the leg muscles are so, but it's supporting the whole body. Yin. Breathe in. Breathe out. Okay? So that's your Tai Chi. And this is all the Chan style of Tai Chi I'm going to teach. I'm going to teach you the Yang style, okay? Because so many of you know the Yang style. You know, just, what is Dr. Lin talking about? You know, Yang Tai Chi is all these old, old people, like in the park. You know, like, oh, what the hell is the Tai Chi? I'm going to explain to you. Just say it. <laughs> Party while 